Let's um, go back into Wizards here. We'll pick one. And let's do a rectangular pocket. Um, there's a couple different ones on rectangular pockets. One's a little more involved and, and you can do a few more things with. But if you just want a straight up pocket, um, I really like this uh, this one right here by Brian Barker. So let's click on that and we'll hit run. And um, first we'll start out with our length. Say I want it to be uh, four inches and my width two inches. And then the step over, this is just a percentage. This So if I had a uh, half inch end mill that was coming down here, when it goes to do a step, it'll do 60% uh, of that. So that's what it's going to come over each time. Uh, then my finish amount, this is what it'll leave when it comes all the way down and reaches its final Z value. It will leave this amount on that wall. Um, I'm just going to leave 20 thousandths on there. And... Uh, next, we're going to move over to our XY position. That's the center of it. XY0, that's uh, where we want to start. And the rough feed rate, uh, 20 inches a minute, that might be just fine. Again, you're going to have to see what kind of material that you're going into and check your uh, speeds and feeds. But this is a pretty safe number. Um, you don't want to get it too slow and you start clogging it. Um, so let's let's try it at 20, and you can change that in the program if you, you need to. You can change that feed rate. Then this finish feed rate, that's for when it leaves that 20 thousandths on here and it comes back to clean that up. It's going to come around and it's going to feed slower and leave a really nice finish. So um, on that, we're going to go for a rough pass, and we're going to climb cut. I, uh, I'll just climb cut with this. I'm sure we're going to softer materials and stuff. And we'll on our finished pass, we'll we'll climb cut as well. Uh, tool number, call it tool one. And then the um, uh, tool diameter, um, quarter inch end mills. All I usually put in my CNC router. And uh, then we have this plunge feed rate. That is just wicked fast. We don't want that. We just want to come in at maybe three inches a minute because this is going to come down and uh, whatever we tell it to come down in our step depth and it's going to push that in there. So a couple things got to happen. <clears throat> you got to make sure you have a center cutting end mill in here. And that's, uh, if you don't, if it's not a center cutting, it'll load up and you're either going to stall your machine or you're going to break this, this end mill. Uh, neither one of those are good. So you, you must take it slow feeding down in there and then it'll pick up the speed and come up to that uh, as it goes. So we have our spindle speed. Some of these machines will read it, some won't. And um, look up what it is for the specific material you're using and what it recommends for the diameter. I got a video on how to calculate the speeds, feeds, and depths of cut. Uh, clockwise motion, that'll give it an M3 code in that um, in your G code, G and M code. And that is um, conventional uh, turn of the spindle. And that's going to be for all right-handed tooling. <clears throat> so by and large, you're, you're going to be using mostly right-handed tooling. I have this an inch. Um, and coolant, we can have on or off, depending on your machine. If it uh, will call up that, that's so much the better. Our final depth. I want to go in here a half inch. I want to go a half inch deep. And uh, this is my safe Z position. We'll stay 100 thousandths above it. Now this one's really important, step depth. How much do we want to come down in that Z every time? So if it comes to this position here, it's going to come down and it's going to feed at the three inches a minute. But how far is it going to feed? Well, 100 thousandths. Um, I'm going to back that off half that was 50 thousandths. Again, I don't want to uh, push too much uh, and overload that tool. It's better off to have it uh, go through there without breaking the tool than it is to try and just um, take that all out in one shot. So I think we're about ready here. We have our step depth, X, Y. Everything looks good there. So now we're going to post this code. And just like in the bolt hole circle, once you exit, it will actually post that code. And there we go. We have a, we have our pocket, so we can cycle start. Let's hit that toolpath, bring that in so we can see it. 
And you can see that that's feeding down to 50 thousandths. Now it's going in the, your linear move. Um, GO1 is feeding. And just like that, you're cutting a pocket.